going on guys? Got something really awesome to share with you. I've been waiting for this in the mail for a very long time and I almost didn't think it was coming and it got here today and I kind of just dropped everything to install it because I think it's amazing. So start on the back. So here's my CPXR that you guys know. Actually, I'll go this way. So it's got the throne emblem on it and the yellow chin strap and now has a gold visor, which is just ridiculous. So I had this for a few weeks now trying to plan to put this in and um, started it and then I was waiting for the gold and it finally got here today and I absolutely love it. So walk you through really quickly. It's an Oakley football visor that I modified um, to fit and I actually didn't, I didn't have to cut anything. A lot of people say you have to cut it but it's more so just um, kind of like a puzzle to get it in. So first off, um, it's, it's the clear Oakley visor as you can see right there, it's clear and then there's a gold uh, vinyl, like really thick vinyl decal that goes behind it and um, that's what makes it tint tinted. On the front you can't see through, but on the back you can see through. And so I, I flipped the Oakley mounting hardware to the, the second bar here where uh, the CPXR curves in and it gives a really nice tight fit and it's not going anywhere. And um, so I did that on both sides and um, uh, I'll tell you how I did. So I first mounted this and first you flex, flex the visor to get it in. I recommend moving the chin strap so you don't um, scratch anything or throw it to the back. And then I mounted these here and tightened them about 70%. And then um, flex the visor to go all the way up and to the, where the little, there's these little tabs to the tabs fit under here. And then what I had to do was I had to push the tabs in and then push the helmet in here as well. See how, you know how the helmet flexes where the visor is? So the tab comes up into this visor to this peak point right here, but it doesn't come through, which is nice, but there's a little space there now. There you go, you can see there's a little space where the tab is. And so that keeps it on the outside of the helmet because like, this is actually a helmet with just a visor on it. And that's what lets me push it up that far. And then once that was up there, I pushed these tabs all the way forward to get it off my nose and make it flex around my face. And then I pushed it all the way up so the tab goes up into the top of the helmet. There you go, you can see it right up in there, goes up all the way, and it's in front of your head so it's not touching you, and it lines up really perfect in the helmet. Um, it goes right to this bar so it looks really clean, almost looks like it's meant for the helmet, and then um, stays off your nose and, it, and it's not covering your mouth, which is really important because when your mouth is covered, um, you breathe, you're breathing in what you're breathing out, and it's really uncomfortable, and you run out of breath, and it's not fun. So. Turned out really successful. I'm gonna throw it out for you guys. And uh, button it all up. So you can see, I st you can still see my mouth, but it has that, and I still got massive tilt in the helmet, and it just looks so gnarly. I absolutely love it. Um, and with my blade, just looks so sick. I love the, the touch of gold, especially on the silver. I originally wanted to do a gold cage, but I think the silver with the gold looks awesome. And uh, it just looks so sick. You can't see my eyes, but I can see out. And uh, it just looks absolutely, absolutely unbelievable. I absolutely love it. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I'm sorry. I think it's the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I like want to wear it while driving. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to wear it tonight. Uh, we're playing under the lights, so it might be kind of hard to play with it, but I'll just test it out. I don't really want to take the whole thing out. Maybe I'll just wear my other helmet. But um, this fall ball season, we are playing in the outdoors at like noon. So I think it's actually going to help because there's no shade or anything, and uh, it will just absolutely look awesome. So there's that. And then the only complaints that I have about it, I'll show you quickly, but I can fix them. Um, right here, you can see how the insert flexes a little bit and kind of distorts. And that's because I couldn't, the, the hole for the insert isn't big enough to be put behind the, the bushing that this is screwed into. It was only big enough to be, be put behind the, uh, the, the nut that this is screwed into. So I'm gonna take like a leather die or something and cut a bigger hole so it fits flush um, against here because you can see there's a little bit of ripple right there so I can push the ripple down. Um, it's just a little bit stuff like that but but besides that it looks it looks so cool. absolutely love the way it turned out and um, I think it's gonna really stand out in the field and be something really awesome. So that's everything guys. Um, throw me a like if you enjoyed this video um, and uh, if you guys throw one in your helmet definitely send me photos and I'm pretty sure it's illegal for pretty much all levels of play. Um, I think I can get it get away with it because I play in men's leagues or pickup and I don't think they're really going to care and the reason they're illegal is because uh, you can't see your eyes so if you get knocked out 
and are unconscious, um, they'll know. <laughs> it's pretty much the reasons because they don't want to move you or, or, or you know move your neck or anything if um, if they can't see your eyes. So um, that's why they're illegal. I think you might be able to wear a clear one because you can still see through it. But um, I think it became illegal because a lot of guys were wearing tinted ones, and uh, they were afraid of someone getting hurt and then uh, doing uh, like illegal procedure on them for taking care of uh, spinal injuries or unconscious or whatever. So. But uh, throw me a like if you liked it. Uh, and that's everything, guys. Talk to you soon.